The movie starts by introducing a famous chef named Paul, who leads a cooking team called Hunger. Just like the team's name, Chef Paul wants to make his customers always hungry because of the delicious dishes they serve. So, when wealthy people invite him to cook, they eagerly eat a lot because of the tasty food from the Hunger team. The story then takes us to a small family-owned restaurant known for its stir-fried noodles. The establishment cherishes recipes handed down through generations, and presently, it is managed by a young woman named Aoi. During this period, a customer named Tone enters the scene. He provides Aoi with Hunger's business card and extends an invitation for her to join the culinary team. However, Aoi, unaware of Hunger, turned to her friends for information. To their surprise, they considered it a golden opportunity for Aoi to enhance her culinary skills and follow the path of becoming a renowned chef like Paul. Chef Paul holds the top position in Thailand's culinary scene and is frequently invited by VIPs eager to savor his culinary creations. It's not surprising that inviting Chef Paul requires advance reservations and a considerable fee. The following day, Tone returned to collect AOE and brought her to the Hunger Restaurant. The kitchen's impeccable cleanliness and order left AOE truly impressed. Before officially joining the Hunger team that day, AOE naturally had to undergo a test. Chef Paul decides to pair AOE with a man who has graduated from a culinary school to create a basic dish, fried rice. AOE's opponent appears arrogant, considering the test too easy. The noticeable contrast in the fried rice prepared by these two participants becomes apparent. AOE's competitor opted for high-quality ingredients in his fried rice, while AOE, on the other hand, utilized leftover rice, blending it with two eggs and various seasonings. Following the cooking process, it was Chef Paul's turn to evaluate. Without even tasting the dishes, Chef Paul promptly instructed AOE's opponent to leave, declaring AOE as the successful candidate who passed the test. Consequently, AOE officially became a member of the Hunger Team. She was then asked to clean up and replace her clothes with a chef jacket with the words Hunger. After that, Tone introduces AOE to all the Hunger members who have different tasks. And AOE will definitely get her own tasks. But for now, Tone still assumes that AOE will be an assistant chef equal to himself. After that, Chef Paul gathered them and said that in a few days, they will get an invitation to cook at the birthday of a high-ranking officer. They plan to serve a meat and blood-themed dish, and of course with high-quality meat. Chef Paul assigns AOE as the person in charge. He said that the meat must be sliced very thin and cooked well done. Before that, Chef Paul asked AOE to slice the meat. AOE, who has never cooked with premium ingredients, finds it very difficult. She failed many times and was snapped by Chef Paul. AOE was tested again to cook the Wagyu beef. As before, she kept failing and made mistakes many times because everything had to be exactly according to Chef Paul's wishes. As a result, Chef Paul ordered AOE to keep practicing. If tomorrow morning she leaves and gives up, then she will lose her chance to become someone special. AOE can't stand all the nagging from Chef Paul, so she intends to leave. But after considering everything, she suddenly changes her mind and returns to the kitchen. Now, AOE is determined to keep practicing until she can cook well done a five Wagyu beef. The next day, the hunger team found AOE sleeping in the kitchen after she practiced all night. They can see the oil and fire splash marks on her hands. It's describing how hard she practiced. And it turned out that AOE's efforts were not in vain. She finally managed to cook the meat according to Chef Paul's wishes. Long story short, the day of the event finally arrived. The event was filled with important people in Thailand, including a culinary entrepreneur named TOS. He wanted to sponsor the hunger for a long time, but Chef Paul always refused. After the event started, AOE was then asked to cook a five Wagyu beef in front of all the guests. People were amazed by her skills, especially the taste of the dish was so delicious that the guests licked their plates to finish it. Amazed by AOE's ability, Toas immediately gave his business card to her. Since that day, AOE was assigned to accompany Tone to places that provide the best ingredients for cooking. From the start, Chef Paul always buys the best quality ingredients even though he has to pay a high price. 
For him, only the best ingredients will create delicious dishes. The next day, the hunger team is ready for the next event. Everyone looked busy, but Aoi didn't even get assigned anything. When she asked Chef Paul, she was instead assigned to wash the dishes, mop the floor, and take out the trash. Hearing that, of course Aoi didn't accept it and protested to Chef Paul. Then, Chef Paul said that everyone there was carrying out tasks according to his orders. Just because Aoi received praise from the guests yesterday, it doesn't mean she is an important person in the team. Chef Paul tests Aoi's chopping speed by comparing her to a member of the hunger team. At that time, Aoi was injured and proved that she is unfit for the position. When Aoi was at home, she tried to cook steak for her family. When Aoi's family tasted the food, they confessed that they did not like it. They prefer the stir-fried noodles made by their father. This finally made Aoi realize that even food can show social inequality. Poor people define food to survive, while rich people define food to satisfy their lust with delicious and quality dishes. In the kitchen, an unpleasant incident suddenly occurred. At that time, a member of the hunger team, Ken, was seen smoking while cooking. Chef Paul, who just came to see this, feeling very upset. He really doesn't like Ken's behavior, especially if the cigarette falls into the food that will be served to their customers. Not only that, Chef Paul also announces that there is a thief among them. That person is known to have stolen some high-quality meat. Before Chef Paul checked the CCTV, he wanted the person to confess because if not, then that person would have to deal with the police. In the midst of this tension, one of the members finally admitted that he, who had been a member of the hunger team for a long time, wanted to taste delicious food like the rich people do. Of course, Chef Paul just couldn't tolerate it, so the man was immediately fired. Shortly, the next invitation finally arrived. This time, the hunger team would cook delicious food for a family. The family's expression looked very strange when they tasted the food from the hunger team. Then, when Tom would deliver the soup, Chef Paul suddenly threw it away because there was a prawn in the soup. Prawn is one of the child's allergies, so even one spoonful of soup could kill her. As a result, Chef Paul quickly cooked a replacement soup using tap water and makeshift ingredients. Since then, AoE felt that there was something strange about Chef Paul's behavior. After they finished the job, Chef Paul was angry at all his members. It was revealed that the person who put the prawns was the chef assistant named Dang. Chef Paul was furious with him, and suddenly Dang stabbed Chef Paul with a knife. Chef Paul, who was hospitalized, then visited by Aoi. She brought a bowl of stir-fried noodles for Chef Paul because he didn't want to eat food from the hospital. Chef Paul then talked about the reason why he became a chef. It started when he was little and at that time, his mother worked as a maid in a rich man's house. That day, the rich family was seen eating something called caviar. So, out of curiosity about the taste, Chef Paul stole a small jar of caviar and wanted to try it. Unfortunately, he was found out, and their son shouted at him as a thief. The jar of caviar then fell from his hands and finally shattered. The employer was furious and would cut Paul's mother's salary for several months. While cleaning up the scattered caviar on the floor, Chef Paul also tried it and found that it didn't taste good. Since then, he was determined to become a chef so that rich people could crawl to try his cooking. Arriving home, Aoi heard the news that her father was taken to the hospital because he was tired of cooking at the restaurant. It made Aoi feel guilty because since working at the hunger, Aoi could no longer help her father. When she was in the hospital, Aoi saw news about a family that had previously invited the hunger team. They reportedly committed suicide because they were in debt. This made Aoi even more confused because if the problem was like that, why did they have to invite the hunger team, even though they can use the money to pay off the debts? That's how big Chef Paul's influence is in the culinary world, so people are willing to do anything to try his cooking. Aoi's suspicions got worse when Chef Paul didn't hesitate to cook a hornbill though he knew that it was a protected bird species. Can't stand Chef Paul's ambition, Tone and AoE finally decided to quit from the hunger. After stopping working at the hunger, AoE had to have another income, considering she had to pay her father's hospital bills. AoE finally remembered Toes, 
who at that time had given her a business card. Of course, Teo S., who saw AOE, immediately greeted her with pleasure. He even immediately invested in AOE by making her a very luxurious restaurant. As a head chef, AOE is required to make a special menu which is her trademark. With the help of several people, AOE continues to innovate so she finally can make a menu according to her wishes. Unexpectedly, AOE's dish menu received attention from various groups. AOE became very famous and many people queued to try her cooking. Long story short, AOE's team was invited by one of Thailand's top celebrities named Milky. Unexpectedly, at the event, AOE's team was paired with Chef Paul's team. Dish after dish from the two chefs made the guests very satisfied. AOE's team cooks dishes that are meaningful and made with love, while Chef Paul, as usual, presents food with a dirty and bold concept. Chef Paul tells AOE that she could never fight against him. Because as a famous chef, people have high expectations and always believe that all his dishes must be delicious. In the midst of that situation, some police suddenly came and arrested Chef Paul. He was arrested because Tone had spread a video where Chef Paul was cooking hornbills. And of course, this is because of the support from TOS. What AOE is seeing right now seems to show that to become someone special, they will sacrifice anything. AOE also just realized that her ambition is to compete with Chef Paul. She lost time with her family who always supported her. AOE doesn't want to end up like Chef Paul, so she finally decided to go home and return to run her family's local stir-fried noodles restaurant as before and the film ends. Indeed, for the sake of achieving dreams, there will be many things that we have to sacrifice. People who become celebrities have to give up their whole life for public consumption so that they no longer have privacy. Just like people who want to become famous chefs, they must always try to satisfy their customers and continue to show innovation in cooking, so that not infrequently they are forced to do illegal things to make their dreams come true. So, whatever you are doing now, always do it wholeheartedly. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.